Last week when you checked out books, a lot of you were super excited and a lot of you had a lot of questions. And I was being asked questions like, Mrs. Bowling, do you have Diary of a Wimpy Kid? Mrs. Bowling, do you have a book about dogs? Mrs. Bowling, do you have a book called Because of Winn-Dixie? Mrs. Bowling, do you have Smiles? Mrs. Bowling, do you have this? Mrs. Bowling, do you have that? And even though I was um, happy to help each of you, the reality is, is that I'm actually not the best resource. We have almost 20,000 books, and I know a lot of them, but I certainly don't know all of them. And the other thing is, is if you come up and ask me, Mrs. Bowling, do you have Because of Winn-Dixie by Kate D. Camillo? I could answer, yes, we own it. But what I wouldn't be able to do is tell you whether or not it's checked out or not. And so the best resource that you are going to have is your card catalog. And I know that most of you, uh, certainly all of you that came from Livonia Public Schools last year, have used it. So hopefully this is just going to be a little review today. Your starting point will always be Cooper webpage. You want to start here because our Cooper website points to our Cooper library. Last year, for example, if you were at Roosevelt, Roosevelt pointed to Roosevelt's library. So starting here on Cooper, we're going to go to Media Center, and I'm going to choose Library Catalog. And it's going to come up looking like this. There are lots of resources here that we will get to as the school year progresses, but for right now, we're going to focus on the Library Catalog. If I click on this link, it's going to look like this, which may look familiar to some of you guys. If I click on the catalog tab up here, this version might look familiar to some of you. It doesn't matter which one you're looking at, we're searching the same collection of books. If you get into this view, on the left hand side here, you can always click on Destiny Quest and that will take you back to the blue visual guide. If you're in the blue Destiny Quest, we could come over here to the right and click on exit and that will take you back to the white screen and again we could click on library search and we can start looking for what we are interested in I'm going to come over here to destiny quests and put us back into the graphic interface and we're going to go into a lot of details more next week but a couple things I want to point out right now First of all, new arrivals here on the right hand side. The books on the new book cart are going to come and go. The new arrivals will always let you know what I have added recently to the collection. So for example, you might see the Evertree listed here, but you walk over to the new book cart and you don't see it there. That means it's probably checked out. But you might want to come back here and just keep an eye on this. Up here in the search bar, if I'm looking for because of Win Dixie. It's going to search, and right away I can see that we have two results. And I see that they're both in. There's different icons here. Some of the icons are going to have the letter E on them. Some of them will be a green E, and some of them will be a blue E. That means that's an ebook. We will do more with that later. We want the one that has a red book on it. That means that that's the paper book that you could go to the shelf and check out. I want you to notice down here it says Fick D. Camillo. This is a really important thing because that's what's going to help you find the book. If I click on the book title, lots of information, but again, I'm going to come over here to where I see that it says a call number. And the call number is the address of the book. Every single book on the shelf has a call number. Just like each of you right now live in your home and you have an address. And it's the address that helps the postman deliver your mail. So you may have a friend who lives on your street and you both have the same street, the same city, the same state, the same zip code but you have a different house number. Everybody has to have their own unique house number so that mail can get to your place correctly. Each book also has an address, but in the world of books and library, 
we don't call it an address, we call it a call number. And so it is like an address for your book. It's a unique number and it's located on the spine of the book. Think about your house address. It would be really silly to put your address above the sink in your kitchen. It might look nice, but it's not going to be helpful because the postman can't see it. Your address has to be on your door, on your porch, on your mailbox, somewhere visible for the mailman to see it. The same is true for the call numbers. If we put them on the cover of the book, if we put them inside the book, that's not helpful because as you're browsing the shelves, you wouldn't be able to see it. So the call numbers are going to be on the spine of the book. They each need to be in their own unique place, which is why we use a shelf marker because again, it's all about being respectful to the person who comes after you. Each book needs to live in its own home. Going back to the card catalog, I'm going to do a search for ghosts. And we're coming up to Halloween, so this might be a topic that some of you are interested in. Today I want you to pay attention to the call numbers. Think of the card catalog as being your Google Maps for finding the book. Call numbers tell you where to go. So if I see something like this, Fic Dady, the FIC tells me I'm going to walk over to the fiction section and Dady here is the author's last name. If I see something like this, 133.1L, that tells me that this is a nonfiction book and the 133.1 is a Dewey Decimal number and it will live in the 100 section. So when I see something that's a Dewey Decimal number, that tells me, my map tells me, that I need to walk over to the nonfiction section. If I see something like E.T. The E tells me that I'm going to walk over to the easy fiction, the everybody books, the picture books. The T tells me that that's the, the first letter in my author's last name. Now sometimes the whole last name will be written there, but occasionally just the first letter. But again, the E is most important because that tells you where to walk to. So again, here's another one, 973.8. I'm sorry, 973H, that's going to tell you walk to the nonfiction section. Fick Snyder, Fick, F I C, if we were to finish that word, T I O N, that would be fiction, we would walk to the fiction section. And again, Snyder, alphabetically, is the author's last name. Now, because we're looking up ghosts, you might see some like this S C ghosts. SC stands for story collection. These are going to be books that have multiple chapters and each chapter is written by a completely different person. So if you think about it, here Debbie Dady wrote this book. She's the only author of that book so we can put that on the shelf under D for Dady. But if I have a book here that's been written by a lot of different people, who would I shelve it underneath? It gets a little complicated. So what we've done is we've made a special collection for those books. And our story collections are on that TP wood shelf behind the new books. Not a lot, two shelves of them, but they are a wonderful collection of, of books. A call number that I don't see here, but another one that you want to keep in mind with is if something said the letter B, that would be a biography book. And if you saw something that said G, NOV, that would be a graphic novel. So today, I want you guys to get yourself into the card catalog, browse for something that you're interested in, something that maybe is a topic that you would like to get more uh, information, more books. I want you to pay attention to the call number. If you click on the title, it's going to give it right here underneath the book. I can see that it's in. I can see that we have one of one available. I also can take a look at the summary here to give me some more information about the book. So today is a day where I just want you to kind of uh, review the card catalog, recognize that we here at Cooper have one also, but this time it's searching the Cooper's book collection, not Roosevelt, not Hayes, not Cleveland, not Grant, or whatever school you came from. So today, 
please start at the Cooper webpage and Media Center, Library Catalog, and I hope that each of you find something that you are very interested in reading.